Hello there and welcome. In this episode we're going to continue adding functionalities to our water source. So in the previous episode we added swimming and diving and we also created some kind of underwater effect. In this episode we're going to deal with breathing underwater. So the first thing we want to do is just create the UI for this breathing or oxygen bar. And we can use these bars that we already created so we don't need to spend time on creating them. So I'm simply going to expand the canvas and go to the status bars and then I'm going to select the hydration bar because it's already blue and I'm going to control D to duplicate this and I can leave it over here and then I'm just going to rename it to oxygen bar container. Then I'm going to move it so let's go to our scene view and I'm just going to move it a bit and maybe place it over here. Next, we are going to still select the oxygen bar and we need to remove the hydration bar script because it's not relevant anymore. But we do want to add a new script that will be the oxygen bar script. So over here, we create a new script, oxygen bar. And inside, we're actually going to copy the code that we have inside the hydration bar because it's going to work the same way. It's going to drain and we need all this logic so it's very similar to the hydration bar. So we can simply look for it over here. Where's the hydration bar? And if we can't find it over here let's just find it inside our scripts folder. So hydration bar. So we're going to copy everything inside and we're going to paste it inside the oxygen bar. Now, of course, we need to change the names a bit and we also need to import the Unity UI package. So using Unity UI for the sliders and the text and we're going to change the names a bit. So instead of hydration counter, we're going to name it to be oxygen counter. And instead of current hydration and max hydration, we're going to name it current oxygen and max oxygen. Now don't change these because these are the hydration values that are inside the player state. So if you're going to change these names, it's just going to mess up your hydration functionality. We're going to deal with that in a moment. Now we're going to open our player state. So you can simply control and click on this or you can find your player state script. And over here we need to add some things that will be related to the oxygen. So we can just copy this, player oxygen, oxygen, and we're going to add a few fields over here. So we created a few fields, of course the same way we had the current hydration percent and max hydration percent. We also want both of these to be available for the oxygen and we're going to make it 100 so we don't need to set it in the inspector, it's just going to be automatically set to 100. Of course you can do this for the other ones as well. Then we also want to have some kind of decreasing rate per second. So imagine we are starting with 100% of oxygen and each second it's going to decrease it by 1%. Now this may sound like a lot so maybe you want to change this value and we're going to get to this part and we're going to see if it's actually a good value. Then we also have a timer to see if we need to change the interval because we also want to create some kind of interval for when the decrease will actually happen. And now inside the start, the same way we set the current health to be max health and the calories and the hydration, we also want to set the oxygen. So current oxygen percent equals max oxygen percent. So it will basically set the current oxygen percent to be a hundred, right? Because we want the oxygen to be full at the beginning. And let's rename this oxygen. And now we're going to start this timer. So inside the update method over here at the beginning, we're going to check if the player is swimming 
we're going to decrease the oxygen. So if player body, and we have a reference to the player body, get component, player movement is swimming. Well, actually not is swimming, but if he's underwater, right? So only if he is underwater, we want to decrease the oxygen. So over here, we're going to have this oxygen timer and we're going to simply decrease it by time delta time. Well, actually increase it by time delta time. And then we're going to check if the oxygen timer is bigger or equals the interval, the decrease interval, then we're going to decrease the oxygen. So we're going to have a method named decrease oxygen. And we're going to reset the oxygen timer. So now let's generate this method. And inside we're going to add the code to actually decrease the oxygen. So the current oxygen percent minus equals, because we want to decrease the amount of oxygen, equals to the oxygen decreased per second multiplied by the interval. Decrease interval. Now we also want something to happen when the current oxygen percent goes below zero. And what we want to do is basically hurt the player. We want the health of the player to go down as well. So if current oxygen percent is smaller than zero, then we're going to set the current oxygen percent to be zero because we don't want to go into a negative value. There's no need for this, but we're going to set the health of the player and basically reduce the health of the player. So over here, out of air. And the way we're going to reduce the health, because if we look into this method, we can see that we're basically setting the new health. And what we can do is, is by simply taking the current health and decrease it by one. And of course it should be a float, but it will work even without the F. So we cannot just set one because it's going to make his entire health into one. We do want to use the current health minus one. And this will basically give us the same effect if we do something like that. Current health minus equals health to decrease, right? But because we don't have this over here and we want to use the same method, we're going to do it this way and provide this entire thing as an argument. So when it reaches zero, when the player has no oxygen anymore, each second the player will lose 1% of health. And again, maybe this is too low. Maybe we want it to be a bit more harsh. For example, every second the player will lose 5% of his health. So again, you can play around with this. You can also take this value and let's say over here, say public float out of air damage per second. So we can say like 5% and then use this over here. And again, as I told you in the previous episode, you can also add maybe an oxygen tank that the player will craft. And then when he has this oxygen tank, he will be able to spend more time underwater. And when he reaches zero, then he won't be damaged or maybe he's going to be damaged less. Next, we also want to show and hide the actual oxygen bar when we enter underwater. So for this, we can go to our swim area script and over here, we're going to have a reference to the oxygen bar. So public game object oxygen, oxygen bar. And then inside the 
main camera check if the main camera is basically entering into this area it means that we are underwater then we can simply say oxygen bar set to active true but if the main camera leaves this area then oxygen bar set to false and of course a very important thing we want to reset the counter we want to reset the oxygen when the player gets out of the water so over here when we exit the water when the camera exits the water right because we only want to reset the oxygen when the head of the player is outside of the water not the entire player so over here we also want to change this value so we go into player state instance current oxygen percent equals and we can just set it to 100 right because we know that 100 percent is a full oxygen bar but if you want to do it properly use the actual max percent because as i told you maybe you want to add some kind of equipment that is going to allow the player to have more oxygen and you want to increase the max oxygen so this way it's not going to be hard coded so we use the max oxygen percent and this will basically just reset oxygen now we can click on our oxygen bar and just disable it but before we run the game we also want to click on it and go over here and we have this oxygen counter for the text so simply expand the fill area and take the text and drag it into this slot and of course we also want to have a reference to the entire bar inside the swim area so we click on the deep lake and over here we have this oxygen bar reference so we are going to simply drag the oxygen bar inside and the last adjustment is inside the oxygen bar script to control the actual slider so over here we get the current hydration which is of course not correct because we need to get the oxygen percent but we don't really need to have a reference to the player state and then access this i don't know why i did this the player state is a singleton so we can just access it without a reference i really don't know why i did this in the past so also for your hydration bar you can change this and for the other bars there is no need to have a reference to the player state so simply delete the reference and over here again we can remove this and simply access the singleton itself so player state instance and we can access this value of course it's not the hydration it's the current oxygen percent and the same over here player state instance max oxygen percent so all of the values and the oxygen is changing inside the player state this oxygen bar simply converts it and changes the slider accordingly that's all we're not changing the values over here and now it's going to get the current oxygen the max oxygen and it's going to move the slider so now if everything is going to work we're going to see this oxygen bar so at this point we're just swimming but we're not underwater so we don't see it but as soon as we go underwater we can start seeing this oxygen bar and it goes down and because we set it to be one percent per second it will take a hundred seconds for this to be depleted so maybe you want this to be faster and you can just change it to be something else simply change it from one to five or ten and then it's going to deplete much faster now back inside the game we're still waiting for this to deplete because i want to see that when it reaches zero our health is going to be affected as well so let's wait and if i go outside of the water it's just going to reset this oxygen bar so let's wait and imagine you have a very deep lake or some kind of ocean so you really want to pay attention to this oxygen bar and now when it reaches zero we can see that it affects the health and we set it to be five percent per second for the health 
so the health is going down and we don't want to die of course nothing will happen because we did not deal with the death of the player but as soon as we go outside of the water we can see that this oxygen bar is removed we still got hurt pretty bad so the health is still going to be low but if we go underwater again we can see that this bar is reset and now we can keep swimming so that's basically all i wanted to show you in this episode now we can swim we can dive we have this oxygen bar and we still have a lot of things to do with the water source because we did not deal with fishing and maybe some kind of boat and i think that we can even fill up this lake a bit more so thank you for watching please subscribe please leave a like it will help me a lot and i'll see you next time